today we're going to be making a rich and tender slow cooked pork ragu. It's going to be so tasty. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. This pork ragu is perfect to get started in the morning and let it slowly cook through the day so you come home to those delicious aromas filling the house. We're going to start by adding a tablespoon of unsalted butter and a tablespoon of vegetable oil to the slow cooker. Now if your slow cooker doesn't have a searing function like this one does, then you can do these initial stages in a large frying pan and transfer back into the slow cooker later. Now we're going to season the pork. Now I've got a kilo or 2.2 pounds of pork shoulder steak here that have been chopped into large chunks and I'm going to season it really well with a quarter of a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Place the pork in the slow cooker and seal it on all sides. Add in a large diced onion and cook for three to four minutes, stirring a couple of times until the onion starts to soften. Now we're going to add in a diced red pepper and three cloves of minced garlic. Give it a stir and cook for a further two minutes. Add in 60ml, which is about 4 tablespoons of red wine and let it bubble down for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to add in the rest of the ingredients. So I've got 3 tablespoons of tomato puree or tomato paste, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 2 bay leaves, half a teaspoon each of dried oregano and thyme, 2 14 ounce or 400 gram tins of chopped tomatoes, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, and half a cup or 120 ml of chicken stock. Stir it all together and then bring it to a gentle simmer. If you've been cooking it in the pan up until this stage, now is the time to transfer it to the slow cooker. And we're going to cook it on high for four to five hours or on low for seven to eight hours. After that's finished cooking, you want to discard the bay leaves and break apart the meat using a fork. It should be fall apart tender by now. Serve with some pasta and top with a sprinkling of grated parmesan and some freshly chopped parsley. And that's how to make the most amazing slow cooked pork ragu. Hope you enjoyed the recipe, if you did please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of new recipes every week. See you next time! Mm -hmm.